Hey guys, the Video Game Awards are next Thursday, December 10th, and Nintendo hasn't even said if they're going to be at the show. So in this video, I'm going to give my predictions of five games that I think we could really see at the show from Nintendo, and kind of give a brief history of some of Nintendo's biggest announcements at the Game Awards. So if you're into predictions, you're into little storytelling and history, this video is for you. Guys, there's not much more to say than grab your favorite snack. Yum, 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 yum. Don't forget get the sub and here we go All right, let's start this video with talking about a little bit of the history of some of Nintendo's biggest announcements at the Game Awards. If you go back to 2019, last year, it wasn't the biggest year from Nintendo's announcements, but they did announce Bravely Default Two, which people were pretty surprised about, and they showed a new trailer for No More Heroes 3. It was the first real look at the game, and it was pretty surprising. Last year, this is not Nintendo, but Xbox, they did show off the Xbox Series X for the first time. That kind of blew people's minds. If you go to 2018, this was kind of a bigger year, more surprises. We did get Marvel Ultimate Alliance Part 3 revealed, which is a big shock. And we saw the first time Hades, which didn't come out to the Nintendo Switch for two more years this year. But we also did get a Smash reveal of the Joker, and that was kind of probably the highlight of the show for Nintendo fans. You go back to 2017. This 2017 was the big year for Nintendo. Not only did we find out that Bayonetta 1 and 2 are being ported to the Switch, we also found out that Bayonetta 3 is in development. And that's been three years and we still haven't heard anything else from that game. Those were big announcements, but the really big one that everybody was waiting for was finally revealed, and that was Jungle Book. Welcome to the jungle, yeah! Just kidding, just kidding. We finally got Breath of the Wild, DLC Pack 2, and it was insane with that crazy trailer with the motorcycle. My mind was blown. I know every Zelda fan's mind was blown as well. And it was Shadow Drop for later that day, so that was freaking awesome. And then if you go back to 2016, we got one of the first reveals of gameplay for Breath of the Wild. So, a little teaser for later down the road. Nintendo does have a history of playing Zelda games and showing off Zelda games at the Game Awards. Prediction time. All right, like I said before, Bayonetta 3. It's been a long time since we've heard anything about that game. Is it finally time for Platinum Games to show off Bayonetta 3? Maybe? I'm iffy about this one. I'm going to give this one about a 50% chance of happening. Just because, you know, we haven't heard anything in so long. Maybe they're waiting for a full direct. And maybe this game isn't coming out till like quarter three or four of 2021. So it might not be the perfect time to announce Bayonetta 3. This next game, I think, is much more likely to be revealed. And that's a new Mario Golf game. Earlier last week, there was actually a leak from a popular Twitter leaker that did Camelot Games is working on a new sport game and since the, they've already done tennis maybe golf is next I think this would be a huge surprise for Nintendo you know you release a trailer for Mario Golf for the switch then it come out maybe in March you know four months to hype it up maybe even sooner I don't know but I'm really hoping for a golf game for the Nintendo switch that's perfect for this quarantine life to you know go on the golf course and feel like you're a person again sad all right, here's another one. So a lot of people want to see a new trailer for Breath of the Wild Part 2 since it's been since E3 2019 since we've heard anything about that game. But I'm going to do a little bait and switch. Instead of seeing Breath of the Wild Part 2, I think we're going to see another Zelda game. I think we're going to see Skyward Sword HD coming towards the Switch. And that's going to say, you know, springtime. You know, I do think next year is going to be a huge year for Zelda. And I made a whole video on that predicting all the 35th anniversary Zelda predictions. You can check that out there. But I think Skyward Sword would be a perfect addition to the whole 35th anniversary of Zelda celebration. So why not release this trailer? You know, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It's a, it's a little trailer. But, you know, bring over Skyward Sword to the Switch. HD, a little, a little, you know, a little improvements here and there. Big hit. Big, big freaking hit. Now, something that would really get Nintendo fans hyped up is a brand new Smash character. Oh boy. I know we just got Minecraft Steve a few months ago. So, will it really happen? Probably not. But that's an easy trailer to put together without actually showing any gameplay. So, I'm going to say 
possible. And if you ask me what my most desired Smash character is, and that's Crash Bandicoot. And not because I'm a huge Crash fan or anything, but I just think it'd be so awesome to have a matchup between Mario, Sonic, and Crash, and really like play that out. That's just like you could make your own story and go on and on and on. All right, now one more thing. I know people have been clamoring and clamoring for more information about Metroid Prime 4. Sorry, I don't think it's gonna happen. But I do think Nintendo's been working on a brand new 2D Metroid game, and you know, this would be a perfect time to reveal it. You know, you could say, hey, this is a remake of Fusion or a brand new 2D game. They usually don't sell that great, so you know, put it out at the Game Awards, get a huge audience to see how cool it is, put it out during the summer, you know, to stack 2021 as much as you can. There you have it guys, five predictions that I think Nintendo could announce at the Game Awards. But what games do you think Nintendo might announce at the Game Awards? Do you think they're gonna be at the Game Awards at all? Do you think we get one announcement, two announcements? Let me know right there in the comment section and I will be sure to get back to you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have a big Super Mario 3D World Deluxe giveaway coming out later this month. So definitely be sure to check that out. And I have some more Zelda content coming out this month. I've been live streaming every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 PM. It's been a lot of fun and I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing some more of it. So if you're new to my channel, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that like button so next time I go live with content, you get it right away. Anyway guys, I am Turbo Jesse. I'll see you on the flip side.